Today I'm making oatmeal bars. This is a quick and easy recipe to prepare and it makes for a great afternoon snack or after school snack. It's also a great way to get the family into the kitchen working together on preparing a recipe. So to get started, we're going to use soy butter. You could also use peanut butter or almond butter, whatever your family prefers. Today I'm using soy butter, which is similar to peanut butter, but it's made from soybeans instead of peanuts, making it nut free. So we'll put that into a large bowl. And to that we'll add some oil. And some honey. And one egg that's been beaten. And we'll give that a good stir just to get those ingredients really well combined. And then we'll also add some vanilla for a little bit of flavoring. You can stir that in. And next we'll add the oatmeal. And this recipe uses both the large flake, old fashioned rolled oats, as well as the quick cooking oats. And oats are a good source of soluble fiber. And next we add the wheat bran, and wheat bran is a good source of insoluble fiber. Fiber can help to improve cholesterol, manage blood sugars, and help to keep you regular. So this recipe is a great way to include some fiber in your diet. And now we're just going to give the mixture a good stir to get it well combined. And then finally we're going to add some nuts and seeds. Today I'm using chopped pecans and dried blueberries, but you're welcome to use any dried fruit or nuts or seeds that your family enjoys. We'll also add some cinnamon for flavoring. And again, give that a good stir to combine the nuts and seeds in with the oatmeal mixture. And then we're going to place the mixture into a nine inch square pan. And ideally the pan would be greased or lined with parchment paper just to help those bars come out of the pan a little easier when they're finished baking. And just press the mixture into the pan. And the squares are ready to bake at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Let the squares cool on a cooling rack and they're ready to enjoy. For this recipe and other great recipes that feature grains grown in Ontario, visit goodineverygrain.ca.